Hi guys, welcome back. This week I'm gonna share with you everything that I eat. You guys constantly ask me for meal ideas, recipes, snacks, vegan food. So I'm sharing you like an overview of everything that I eat throughout the week. In this video I'm not telling you guys how to eat. This is just how I personally eat and how I ate that specific week. It changes a lot, especially when I'm traveling, when I'm not home. Um, depending on my schedule pretty much and also this is what's working for me right now I don't say that this is what's working for everyone don't take this as medical advice or nutrition advice this is just what I personally do and what works for me um, in this video I'm also not sharing every single snack I had like I had some little snacks here and there as well on top of the meals that I'm sharing in this video so be aware of that but I tried to be as accurate as possible. Before we get into the meals that I had this week, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I just created my own website this year and it had been on my list for the longest time ever. So yeah, I will talk more about this whole experience and how I did it with Squarespace more towards the end of the video. And so now if you're ready, let's get into the meals that I had this week. On Monday morning, I had an apple as a snack before my first meal of the day. And then I made a smoothie bowl with bananas, berries, some rice milk, some acai powder, ground flax seeds. And then I put some chia pudding, some peanut butter on my smoothie bowl, some raisins and dried fruit, bikinis, pumpkin seeds and some almonds. And with that, I had a cup of tea, and for dessert, I had a little bit of pistachio dark chocolate. Later that day, as a snack, I had some local hazelnuts. And for dinner, I had a dinner with my mom, and we made some quinoa with a vegetable tagine. It was so yummy, it had chickpeas in there as well, and we drizzled everything with some tahini. It was so, so good. I love that meal, and I had a couple plates of that meal. On Tuesday, I had a friend over for lunch, so we made a big salad. I made the dressing with some, some flower seed butter, apple cider vinegar, some emp oil, some cumin, lemon juice, and whisked that all together to make a really creamy salad dressing. And then I chopped up some lettuce. I shredded carrots and some cooked beets. And we had the salad along with some leftover mushroom rice that I had from a couple of days before and some leftover vegetable tagine from the night before. I had some um, golden milk with that meal and for dessert I had some pistachio chocolate and a cup of tea. For dinner I had a smoothie bowl with bananas, berries, some cacao powder, some flax seeds and peanut butter and some rice milk. I added all my usual topics along with cacao nibs, cashews, more dried fruits, some coconut. And for and after that I had a cup of ginger tea with chocolate and some more nuts. On Wednesday I had a cup of matcha in the morning. I like having matcha every now and then. I added some rice milk and that was my morning drink. I then made a smoothie bowl with bananas, some fresh spinach, frozen berries, cacao powder, rice milk, and blend it all up together until creamy. added some chia pudding, coconut, some hazelnut butter, almonds, some cacao nibs, bikinis, and 
raisins and then I drizzled all of it again with some more almond butter so that was a very filling meal and it was so yummy uh, in the afternoon I got hungry so we would say like this that's more like a, a little lunch that I had later that day I made avocado toast with this seed full bread it was so yummy really really delicious and for dinner I made some roasted veg so I cut up some celery yak and potatoes drizzled some olive oil on them and some rosemary from our balcony and then I put that all in the oven and in the meantime I made a salad a similar salad dressing that I made on Tuesday and then I added a lot of greens, spinach, uh, raw fennel, some chickpeas and some savory granola that I received recently. I will link it down below. Add this for dinner with the roasted veg. For dessert, I had a toast with almond butter and some chocolate. On Thursday, I had a super, super busy day. So I had a Cliff Bar and an apple for breakfast. Not the best meal, but that was, I was working. <laughs> and then for lunch, I made the Asian peanut noodle salad, which you may have seen in my previous recipe video. And then for dinner, I made a smoothie bowl for David and I. So. And then I added a lot of topics and then um, after that I was still hungry so I had another bowl of leftovers like roasted veggies and some of the peanut noodles and some salad. It was a really big mix of all things. It was really, really, really delicious. And then after that I made some golden milk with some cashew milk. On Friday, I made another smoothie bowl with some peanut butter and some almonds, some nuts, uh, cacao nibs, all the usual toppings that you see me using every time. And that day, David made dinner for us. Basmati rice with some lettuce, a sweet potato and spinach stew, smoked paprika tofu. I ate at least two plates full of this and it was so good. On Saturday, I made a smoothie bowl with flax seeds, bananas, apple, frozen berries, cashew milk, um, peanut butter. And then I mixed it all up, made it really, really creamy. I, you can tell like my body is half like completed, like my body is half smoothie bowl by this time. And then I put some almond butter some cashew butter, so good, some cashews, and some buckwheat, raisins, and almonds. This was so good, by the way. Oh my god, I want to eat that again. For dinner, I made some vegan mac and cheese from the Vegan Bundle ebooks. It's super easy to make, you just have to boil potatoes and carrots garlic and onion together and then put it into a blender along with some miso, nutritional yeast, turmeric and a few other things like I added some soy cream and then I mixed the gluten-free pasta with the sauce and added some vegan cheese on top and I had this for dinner along with a salad and it was really good on Sunday uh, we had brunch with David he made us some vegan chickpea and buckwheat flour pancakes crepes sort of and it was delicious and i had this with some pear uh, maple syrup and some chia pudding and i also had some tea and kombucha all right so that's all i had this week thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you give this video a like so i know you want to see more vegan food related videos in the future as i said in the beginning of the video i just created my own website along with squarespace i have posted some vegan recipes on there so if you want more inspiration more ideas and you know easy simple effortless vegan foods um, make sure you check it out because i posted some recipes last week creating my own website was on my list for a really long time and this year i'm so happy i did it with squarespace because 
it made it so much easier and if this has been on your list as well is something you really wanted to do and share information with the world and have like a space where you can just put everything um, related to your work and the things you're interested in into one single place I highly encourage you to try out Squarespace so you can simply go to squarespace.com you can get a free trial and you can see if you like it you know like maybe you do maybe you don't and if you do when you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com slash chloekian to get 10 percent off your domain or your website so that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye